morning YouTubers this is just a quick follow up on my video on scientific Linux I know I've got the Oracle screen up here uh, disregard that for a little moment but uh, we'll just go to YouTube now I woke up to a comment um, one of the um, one of our uh, one of the community members uh, just uh, gave us a a comment. It said um, in Scientific Linux. Remember, I, I said that I didn't have FFmpeg. I didn't have mplayer in it. He said that if you enable the Nux repository on Scientific Linux, you can get FFmpeg plus uh, mplayer. Um, uh, that's in the repository too. Now um, I went. I, I wanted to see if I could just uh, enable it by default because it does. Scientific Linux does have a, a bunch of repositories uh, in in here right but it, uh, I did a bit of a grab nux star and uh, I'll just maximize that so it's a little easier to see but uh, it didn't have it at the time it'll have it now but didn't have it at the time you can see this bit here so I've enabled I've actually enabled the repository I'm just going to show you now exactly what I did so I did a bit of a search on the internet for or I should say on the World Wide Web for uh, nux repository I found it and uh, this is the page, it's, it is an unofficial page, it's not like RPM Fusion or anything like that basically use it at your own risk I, uh, I, as a root user I copied this in for the Enterprise Linux 7 copy and pasted this in and uh, that f went fine, I uh, found that I could uh, search for um, right there, boy yum, search empire now obviously I've got these installed so I haven't um, bothered to install them from the uh, the repository but nonetheless they are there uh, we can just do that now actually um, install MPEG. just to prove the point I guess just give that a tick hopefully the repo repository does that um, the other thing too is I went into I noticed that he's got his key here so that um, the repository becomes a, I think a tr what they call a trusted repository I, um, I went into here and just followed these directions for how to import the key so um, yeah it's just a, an Oracle website if you do a bit of a search for uh, yum enable gpg key probably be the second entry on google for you so um, now it's just asking me do I want to install the packages so the repository seems reasonably quick, not too slow there. It's not like great, I mean I've got a 20 megabits per second connection so that's not like, you know, it's not overly astounding but it's still usable. So just give that a tick. So yeah, I'm just recording now on my original FFmpeg uh, install, but we'll be able to show you in a minute that there are two FFmpegs, so we're sort of about the 70% mark there. So yeah, I was, I was really appreciative that they, they gave that, so it gives me, um, you know, uh, gives or not just me, but other people an option if... Uh, you know, if uh, you can't can't get the the binaries that you want, I did hear that uh, RPM Fusion has had some infrastructure changes in the last few months. So you know they are a little bit delayed uh, with producing a, an Enterprise Linux Seven repository. But you know those guys are pretty good. I'm sure they'll be up and running in the next twelve months or something like that, unless there's some drama, some internal drama. But I doubt that very much. I think they'll they'll have that sorted. So. So just give this a uh, give this a little second. You know, the last drama I had actually with um, uh, with one of the Red Hat based distributions was when um, uh, FGLRX became unavailable, and I was like at the time pretty reliant on FGLRX because um, the Radeon driver hadn't um, matured to the way it is now. And so, um, yeah, no, the the guy who used to to provide it, he stopped providing it, and so I did provide a uh, an RPM, a, a compil yeah, well not compiled, I mean there is a, an interface to the kernel that needs to be compiled, but I did provide a um, an RPM based on the 
on the releases that, uh, that AMD were providing. So here we go, we've got the yes. So we're accepting the EPL. And that's the other thing that you notice as a requirement is that you need EPL, which has got some extra packages. What they call extra packages for enterprise Linux. So now we've got uh, FFmpeg and go, which FFmpeg is going to say that one, but uh, ls user slash bin. And you've got FFmpeg there too. So, and presumably we'll just go. And there we go. So, it, uh, and you can see all the configuration that's been enabled. So, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, you know, uh, please, uh, you know, thank uh, Adnan Mahmood for his uh, his uh, input there. Really appreciated. I'm just going to like that comment. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you for the uh, thank you for your input. Really appreciate that. Um, and uh, yeah, just keep those comments that are kind of helpful like that uh, rolling. Appreciate that. Anyway, guys, catch you later. Anyway, oh, yeah, another thing too is please don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, have a good day.